so fuck yeah. Turbo, that's Back the window down. Drag race, no drag queen. Straight fuel injection. That's max speed, no vaccine. Yeah. Fast lane, no we swear. Mine up for the girl. Can't slow me down like speed up. Keep up when I speed up. See your future, that's why I'm up. Man, I like that. Drift boy. <laughs> <laughs> Morning guys welcome back to the channel today you join me in the cabin of a stage 2 tuned f80 bmw m3 competition 530 horsepower rear wheel drive some of you know i absolutely love these cars it's been a little while uh really like this car a lot so yeah we're gonna get straight into it we're just gonna go straight for the drive none of this walk around stuff so yeah enjoy people right bloody hell mate back you know yeah why i said i really like this car is um yeah, I don't know, you just have a massive reality, you know, like, because I've got the M140 and a lot of, you know, I've been driving a lot of them, I've been like, I've been buying a lot of them for the company, so you become a little bit of a fan, but when you get into an F80 M3, it's a whole different game. The, the M3, like, you can't compare it, man. It's deep, isn't it? Because, you know what I mean? The M3's are double the price, but unfortunately, because of the performance, the straight line speed of an M140 with a stage one, stage two tune for 20 grand and a thousand pound tune, You've got a car that I think is actually faster than this car in a straight line. But of course, if you stay to tune one of these, then they become even faster. But you know what I mean? When you compare the B58, they are a lot of performance for your money. And as I say, stay to tune, 530 horsepower, uh, three liter, twin turbo charge, straight six engine, S55. This has had the crank up fix because as some of you may not be aware, there was a design fault with this engine, uh, a design fault that BMW have never sort of taken notice of actually. Used to be around a two, three thousand pound fix. Not sure how much it is now. I've seen cheaper fixes for around a thousand, I think even 500 quid. But as I say, this, had, this one has had some sort of capture plate installed. Not too sure exactly what that is, but it's had the crank up fix. As I say, finished in mineral white. It's almost got this pearlescent sort of like two-tony color. <laughs> Bro. Man's got a man needs to speak better English, man. But anyway, competition triple six M alloys. We've got Michelin tires all around. You can see we've got the Alcantara steering wheel. It's nice and thin, not thick like, not like some of these cheap ones you can buy on eBay. This one's a nice size. You can get a nice grip. Do with it being just a tiny bit thinner, but it's not thick like the proper, you know, LED M performance ones. Let's go Sport Plus. We'll go traction MDM, second gear. It is a nice sound in the car, I'm not gonna lie. And the power, it's a true strong power, man. And you just feel that dual clutch, obviously seven speed, DCT gearbox. It has had software. So um, shifts have been smoothened out, the, up the clamping pressure, it just feels that bit more responsive. And yeah, as some of you know, my M4 back in the day, it was stage three, hybrid turbos, pure stage two plus, uh, running methanol, 700-ish horsepower. Never got it on a dyno. No, I did get it on a dyno. I got it on Mabs's dyno, which is a very low reading dyno, so very realistic numbers. But yeah, this car's not even about. Man, it is really, really quick, like a real pinpoint precise power. Like uh, the B58, I mean, yeah, kind of rolls into the power. This is just boom, straight away. Obviously, you've got twin turbos, right? Also, some other things on this car, it's got extended leather. So usually this is all hard plastic, hard plastic up here. You can see it's all leather. We've got black stitching, white stitching down here. And as I say, the whole dash is wrapped in leather. This is an optional extra which you have to pay for. Uh, we've got carbon fiber here, carbon fiber here. We have a heads up display, which is actually not on right now, but it does have heads up display. That's an optional extra. Harman Kardon, that's an optional extra. And a really cool feature is the rear blinds, tinted from factory. Uh, just trying to think anything else inside the cabin. I think I have missed maybe one 
or two things oh yeah we also have concierge service so you can set up so that you can phone bmw probably a bit of a gimmick i don't think many people use it but you do have it there so literally you have your own in-house bmw hotline that you can sort of get any kind of information you're after like these turbos they're very responsive the car is proper ready to go man Jesus. So as a lot of you know, the M3 is a super capable car. It's not even about its straight line speed. It's the way it takes corners. It's a whole nother level to the M140. Let's not talk about the M140 because the M3 is just definitely in a league of its own. And we know it's also very tunable. The S55 engine is really strong. Uh, they can do seven, 800 horsepower, similar to the B58. Here we go, I mentioned the B58 again. Obviously with the um, dual clutch transmission, you do have to actually up. So you have to upgrade the clutches at some stage, which is not a great thing because they're going to be pretty expensive and the problem is if the clutches go they're going to be expensive if you blow the gearbox up it's going to be expensive some of these zf boxes they run seven eight hundred horsepower god knows what the torque is probably lower the torque but if they go it's only a couple hundred pounds you know what i mean engines two grand so it's a difference if you are looking into modifying it's a bit of a no-brainer but let's just um like we've got mdm on let's just see what happens brakes are actually awesome got a really nice bike one of the cool features about buying an m car is you get loads of different driving settings go check these buttons down here so you can mess with the throttle response i can make it nice and lazy uh, by putting it into efficient if i put it into sport plus it actually shortens the travel of the throttle so it makes it feel a lot more responsive for performance driving you probably don't want it too short feels faster but it's not going to be faster just means you use like now i'm using way less throttle Jesus, man, reality check, boy. He stays too tuned. M3, very, very fast car. You got them two quick spooling turbos. Let's go uh, third gear. Have a listen. Man, it's actually a really nice sounding car, isn't it? I'm not sure if the sound's been coded out. On a straight like this, guys, it's so stable, man. Like, it feels so much more mechanical than, than other non-M cars. Like, it just very planted there's a little bit of squiggliness at the rear we've got you know quick spool and turbos low down torque but yeah let's go third gear back a window down mad <laughs> this car revs to literally about seven five seven six thousand rpm seventy six hundred rpm should i say and um yeah this car is a very very capable wow the brakes are really good it's almost like we've got they are new i know that but it's almost like they're they're upgraded i mean look at the front end on an m3 man look at this <laughs> yeah man i like this a lot bro i like it a lot trust me you got you got you got now to drive these man in my opinion, an M140 you can drive about seven tenths. With this M3, you can go ten out of ten. Like I've had my friend chasing me. No, I've been chasing my friend in a Golf R. My friend can drive. You can stay with a Golf R and an RS3 if you know how to drive. Like, bro, you've got to be a fucking amazing driver to stay with a Golf R in an M3. But it is possible with a good driver. You just can't. You can't be an average driver. It's simple as. Like, you got to be ready for the back coming out, all sorts. But like medium bends, like back lanes, like like B roads, should I say? You know, you're never gonna get away from an M3. But they have the capability you know as we know the lap times these do like 740s or 750s 750 i think on the nurberg was the first m3 i think the competition pack like the face lifted it a bit quicker Making me miss my M4, boy. She sings, didn't it? Proper sings. That is something you don't get in the B58. Definitely not. And that is a trait of the M cars, right? Like the E46 M3s, the E92s. You know, the E92 revs to like 82. But no, it's a, it's a nice, precise power. I like it a lot, man. It just reminds me of, you know, I've always praised the S55, the M3, and the M4. I love them to death. But yeah, look, third gear. And it lo 
lurches forward on the gear shift because you've got dual clutch transmission, it bumps. So down here, guys, we do have the velocity setting of the gear shift, so we can actually smoothen that gear shift out. We can make it not as ferocious. It actually makes it not as, oh, we've got a nice C63 here. Yeah? I'm looking at one of these. Well, actually, it's probably just gone live on the website. Just bought a really nice one, just like this, guys. Coupe, 199 Next Sunday, lads, Aki now. We're on it, look at this. Front end, traction's off. lads it's been a little while so yeah we've changed the um so check out how slow the shift will be now well you probably wouldn't even notice but it's really smoothened out in the cabin oh, yeah, i want to go do that shit again man but you know what i mean you just get to the limit of traction and you don't have to power slide as in you don't have to force the slide just get to the limit of traction and then just give it a bit more revs dip it in a bit and then boom you're in a slide lads sideways sid who some other things we've got um 360 cameras uh, so other settings as well, which I forgot to mention, is you've got MDM, which sort of is traction half on. So it will let you get some angle, but it will, uh, in the end, grab the brakes and slow you down. If you're trying to race, it'll remove a bit of the power. You need to sort of be traction off and you need to be um, using that throttle yourself, basically, if you want to get the max performance out of an M3. You'll lose every single time if you've got MDM against even a fucking Golf R, do you know what I mean? You've got to get used to uh, managing that throttle man this is a car that you buy if you want to seriously improve your driving like you will learn to become like a, an excellent driver owning an m3 oh we've got a nice r6 there look yeah it's just look look at look at the front end my bro another thing is it's got adaptive suspension so uh right now it's in comfort so around town it's going to absorb bumps nicely but then as soon as you want to sort of like go for a nice tear or the road's nice and smooth or if you're on a track you can actually lock the suspension out so it's like a fixed damper now and it's going to perform at its best but obviously now immediately i can feel the car's a bit more bumpy a bit more rigid but this is the beautiful thing about the m3 you can daily drive it and then um with a the flick of a few buttons you can go into full race mode and in fact you have the m1 setting here and the m2 setting so you can have your comfort button here by pressing the m1 it says confirm okay and then you've got m2 so you can have two customized driving styles which is awesome for anyone that's unaware this m3 you can win it for one pound 99 this sunday 10 30 alongside my 914 horsepower dodge challenger hellcat yeah so we've got a double live draw this sunday 10 30 i've said it a few times the second my hellcat goes we're forging the b58 in my m140 yeah we're forging it we're going a thousand break i've been trying to call tom today actually because i'm just thinking just doing the turbo, I just build it straight away. I'm even trying to persuade Tom to sell me his forged engine. So fingers crossed, Tom, if you're watching, please, brother, just give me your engine. Let's just get my car on the road, fires and brake. Let's just let's just get the show going, man. That's the long thing. Yeah, second to third, it literally will just spin up. sound too bad man sounds like real deep it's gonna have a decat down by because it stays too tuned i would say let's do launch but just forget about it man it's fucking got the right tires right heat in the tires as well this road's really bumpy yeah i think that these lowering springs as i mentioned to you before like pulling it in comfort so there's a bit of slack will help with traction i think lowering this car probably isn't going to help with traction it's going to look a lot nicer but yeah and obviously uh because we are driving the comfort i can feel the fact the car's a bit more i don't know a bit more squishy almost loads of low down torque in fourth gear not even nearly at the right rpm i mean literally every time i accelerate in second gear i'm expecting it to go sideways if i obviously use the throttle better but i'm not on track am i do you know what i mean i'm just trying to have a bit of fun on the road but i've decided i'm going to put it back into mdm so i know it will kind of save let's go flatten out see into third it does slightly go to the left but um this car probably does tram line a little bit more because it has been lowered you know these cars ideally if you do want to upgrade suspension you want to go kwv freeze man second gear 
See, it's MDM still goes to the side a little bit. Remember uh, one thing as well to note with M cars is they feel faster than they actually are. Uh, not to say it's not a fast car, but you feel like you're traveling a little faster than you would in a. So yeah, I'm gonna end it there. As always, if you enjoyed it, please could you hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Yeah, I'm excited because second my GTR comes back, I have decided I'm gonna whack that on Living Life Fast. And I can't promise that we'll be staying on Living Life Fast because I do like this channel, got it to 70K. You know what I mean? I don't think we're far off getting 100K. If I actually start uploading some videos, guys, I can easily get this to 100K. But I have been busy, you know, LLF games. I've been treating that as my number one. So yeah, this Sunday, 10.30. Remember, you can win this car for £1.99 alongside my Hellcat. So it will be a double live draw. Someone will also be winning £2,000 tax-free. Congratulations to last week's winner uh, who actually took the cash instead of the M140. So uh, yeah, he took 22 grand straight in his account. He's loving life, of course, as you can imagine. So yeah, ticket link in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Slow me down like speed hump no. Keep up when I speed up no. See your future, that's my past yeah. See the smoke when I drive past yeah. Fast lane, living life fast See a girl, she's in my car mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel That's five stars yeah. Make the rules disappear